Today I'm going to be showing you another type of millimeter wave sensor and this time it comes from Seed Studio. So Seed Studio was kind enough to reach out to me and offer me their millimeter wave human detection sensor kit to try out. Now Seed Studio, interesting I found out these are the guys that have developed and manufactured the Home Assistant Green that we've all heard about most recently. Now this little system is a system in a case and it's completely flexible and this is the first one I've seen that offers this level of flexibility. So it comes with an ESP32 C3 uh, microcontroller inside of the box and along with that we have a whole range of different sensors that we can plug in. So mine's been shipped with the standard 24 gig human presence sensor light. However, you can then select a respiratory sleep sensor. I'm really interested to try this out. Um, I've tried the sleep sensors on the, on the watch, but personally, I don't like wearing my watch at night, so I'm really keen to try out the sleep sensor. They also have a heartbeat sensor and a fall detection sensor, which could be really useful for use with elderly people. So that's the first amount of flexibility you have. The next level of flexibility is that you can actually select a whole range of other sensors to go inside the box. So you've got your microcontroller, your uh, millimeter wave, and then you've got this Grove sensor kit that you can add on here. And they have literally a whole lot of different sensors. So you can see down on the right hand side here, you've got temperature, humidity, accelerometers, infrared, hall sensors, and a whole lot more. These can be purchased separately and just plugged into this box and used along so with the system. Just to show you how it's working, currently I've got the basic components loaded up here. So we have the presence information, we have the motion information, this movement body parameter, which is a number that changes as the millimeter wave sensor starts working. So what I'm gonna do is now get up and walk nearer to the sensor. And as you can see, the moment I get closer, very quick response. And now it has some other features as well. It has this switch called the underlying open function info output switch. Now, if I switch this on, you'll see that all of a sudden these parameters come into play. So if I now start moving around again, we now have a body movement parameter. We have a motion distance. So the interesting thing is this will actually change as I move towards the sensor. You can see I'm getting closer or I'm moving away. Um, we also have a static distance. So the moment I stop moving, it will actually adjust the static movement. It will also give me a motion speed. So as I'm moving, you can see here that it is giving a speed as I move. So this sensor I think has a lot of opportunities, especially with all the flexibility and the option of those other types of sensors, the sleep sensor, the fall detection sensor, and the heart rate sensor. So I'm really excited to what, see what's gonna come out of Seed, and I really look forward to showing you more of these devices in the future. That's all for me now, have a great week, bye then.